Hello and welcome. So what I want to ask you today is, did I make a huge mistake? So I want to take you back to 2019. Now, this was obviously pre-pandemic and everything was going pretty darn well. Um, Ross and Bespoke Butlers had started to grow really fast as a company. Um, we've been getting a lot of new, very high profile clients. Um, we just completed our first ever free butler school for people who couldn't afford to come to butler school. And most excitingly of all, I was in the first stages of filming my own TV show. We were doing a pilot. Um, now, that's when I was contacted by the BBC to ask if I wanted to be on their TV show, Dragon's Den. Now, I wasn't doing well enough to be a dragon, let me point out. They wanted me to pitch my business for investment from the dragons. Now, I was really confused because I always assumed that you would have to apply to the BBC and then see if your idea was good enough to get on the show and all this kind of thing. I had no idea that they actually approached the people. I don't know if they always do. I don't know if it's a mixture. Honestly, couldn't tell you. So anyway, the researchers contacted me, asked me to come on the show, and I thought about it, and I just, I just didn't think it was for me. Now, I'd seen the show, and I had huge respect for the investors on there. Amazing set of people, incredibly skillful, incredibly talented, incredibly rich, but then, I know plenty of talented, rich, skillful investors. And if I want to get in a room with one of them, all I have to do is make a phone call. So why would I do it on telly? But the researcher said to me, they said, well, think about it. Even if you choose not to um, take an investment from these people, it's great to actually just be on primetime BBC talking about your business. And okay, that does make a lot of sense. I weighed up the pros and cons. So what could this gain me? Yes, it could gain me a monetary investment, which could be used for building the company. Yes, it would get me a lot of advertising, a lot of um, TV space, you know, uh, appearing on a BBC primetime TV show would obviously be very good for getting my name in front of people. Then I looked at the downside. The downside is what if the dragons just didn't understand the concept? What if they did their classic, which is they see to say an awful lot, and quite frankly they say an awful lot to people who then go on to be very successful, I must say, that they don't think it's a scalable company that they don't think it's good just because they don't understand the concept you know there's always a danger in that um, I know they said that to the guy with the I don't know if you saw the one with the whiteboards that like stuck to the wall and they're all going oh this isn't this isn't a great business and now you see them in every stationery shop so there's danger one danger two is that in the moment maybe I would give away too much of my business. These guys are expert negotiators. And say I went in there asking for an amount of money for 10% and they persuaded me to give them 40%. So I'd be giving up almost half of my business to someone for what would probably not be enough money. Would probably be a much larger slice of equity than I would ever give away to a normal investor. So I weighed up the pros and cons and I decided it wasn't worth it. So I was out. But the training, but the schools, um, all of the stuff I do, it's of course scalable and we do it. We do it around the world. We've been off in Saudi Arabia, we've been in the Caribbean, we've been in Europe. Yes, it is scalable. Is it scalable to the level that the likes of Peter Jones would want from a business? I'm not sure. 
and to be arrogant, I wasn't really sure what they were going to bring to the table. Yes, they have plenty of money, but do they really know about the business that I'm in? I'm sure plenty of them have butlers, no doubt, but do they really know how to teach people to be butlers or would they want to be all about the money? Would they want to be about lots of short, cheap courses, as many people as you can? Now, I'm not saying this what they would be like, but I know that's how a business mind would, like, would work. They'd say, well, if we can do thousands of short courses for relatively cheap money that don't really train much, but we can churn them out, that's the sort of thing I would imagine a business person would say. And that's why I'm quite grateful that I'm a butler, not a business person. Because at the end of the day, I, my butler school is about doing the best training. It's not about making the most money. In fact, I hardly make any money from the butler school. Don't worry, this isn't a sob story. It's just a statement of fact, because what I really want to do is play forward the skills that I've learnt and teach those to other people. And that's what I'm really passionate about. So I'm certainly not complaining. It's something I love doing and something I enjoy. One dragon who wasn't on the show back then is Stephen Bartlett. And I'm pretty impressed by him, to be honest. I mean, who wouldn't be? Someone that young, that successful. But also, he's successful in a medium that I would be very interested in expanding into and getting more traction. And that is the online and social media based side. And he's obviously a genius at that. So I must admit, if he was one of the dragons, maybe I would have been a little bit more tempted. But even then, I don't feel that I would want to give away a percentage of my business to someone else. So I'd love to hear your opinion. I really enjoy, if you put in the comments, do you think I made a huge mistake on not pitching on Dragon's Den? Or do you think it was the right choice? Let me know what you think. Um, that's me for today. And thanks very much. Bye-bye.